In February of 2022, I decided to embark on a challenge. I wanted to see what it would be like and if I was capable of making art every single day for an entire year. I set the goal to spend at least 15 intentional minutes per day in the creative process and I'm really proud to say that I've made it to day 304 and I've only missed a handful of days. So in this video, I want to address one of my main motivators for taking on this challenge, which is to build more self-trust. So I invite you to join me as I oil paint a self-portrait and chat about the importance of self-trust and the role that it plays in our success. Self-trust, in my opinion, is one of the most important characteristics that we can build for our own success. It is absolutely critical. Now, there are so many reasons that trust with ourselves may have broken over time, but what I really want to stress here is that regardless of how you've gotten to this place of distrust, it is absolutely possible and worthwhile to rebuild the trust. When I first started to ask myself this question of, do I trust myself? I thought, well, of course I trust myself, it's me, like, it would be silly not to. But then I noticed the way that I would speak to myself in my head, these little whispers of negativity that told me things like, you should just give up. You've never done that before, so well, what makes you think you can do it now? And you're too emotional to make this work. And as these little voices came into my awareness, I realized that in some ways, and in particular areas of my life, I really didn't trust myself thoroughly. I didn't trust myself to become a skilled, professional, paid artist. I didn't trust myself to stay committed to projects, visions, and goals. Basically, I didn't trust myself to become the person that I wanted to be. I didn't fully trust that I was capable. And I say fully because there were certain parts of me that did trust myself. And ultimately, those are the voices that I followed to get me to where I am today. And if you're in need of a little encouragement or if you too have those pesky little voices in your head, telling you that you can't, I hope that I can spark that other little voice that says, oh yes, I can. There is this sassy little girl in me who, when someone tells her that she can't do something, she rolls her eyes and says, oh yeah, watch me. There is a phrase that I've heard a lot of people say as a means of defending themselves that goes something like, I don't need to prove myself to you. But I feel like this is kind of a cop out. It's like a way of getting around doing the self work. When it comes to building trust with ourselves and with others for that matter, sometimes we really do have to prove ourselves. Like, if you've consistently been an asshole to your partner or your close friend, they're probably going to start to view you as kind of a mean person. And if you want to be seen differently, you're going to have to act differently. You're going to have to prove to them that you're not an asshole by making an effort to be kinder. And in my case, if I wanted to see myself as a skillful professional artist, I knew that I would have to take my art more seriously and put real effort into growing my skills. And for me, this looks like showing up to the creative process every single day, even if it's only for 15 minutes. Thus began my year-long art challenge and a year of proving to myself that I, in fact, can do this simply by doing it. Mm. 
One of the best ways that I've found to bring myself the proof that I need is simply to keep my promises. If you're someone who tells yourself that you're going to do something and you consistently don't do the things that you're telling yourself that you will, you're ruining the trust that you have with yourself. We can build trust simply by following through, by walking the talk. So if you say you're going to cultivate a daily movement practice, do it. If you say you're going to make art every day, do it. And if you're struggling to meet your own goals, I would invite you to get really honest with yourself about what is realistic and set goals that you know are achievable. If you're constantly changing your mind, if you're really inconsistent and you don't take yourself seriously in the things that you want, it's going to be really, really, really difficult to trust yourself. Of course, making art for hours every day is ideal for someone like myself who wants to be a full-time artist, but I was starting from a place of inconsistency, so I knew that hours every day would probably be too large of a goal and too large of a change for me to keep up with. So I set my goal for just 15 minutes, and I knew that no matter what I had going on in a day, I could likely find 15 minutes to create. After keeping up with this habit for over 300 days, hours every day doesn't seem so unachievable, but in the beginning, it probably would have led to me quitting. Listening and being honest with myself in this way has helped me to build a lot of trust. Of course, I can go into anything with the confidence of that sassy little girl saying, watch me. But I also need to be grounded and realistic in my approach if I actually want to meet my goals. And that starts with just listening to my own concerns, fears, doubts, and taking them all into consideration. If I know that my ultimate goal of being a full-time artist is going to require a huge mindset shift from where I'm at currently, I'll set a smaller goal that requires a smaller mindset shift because baby steps are more reliable and lead to more consistent results in the end. Before setting any goals though, it's important to know who you really are and what you really want. One way that I'm currently getting to know myself is through painting self-portraits. The one that I'm painting in this video is the first in a collection of paintings, and actually the first collection of paintings that I've ever done, where I'll be exploring different archetypes. The first archetype that I chose to paint is the maiden, she is the archetype that I've identified most with throughout my life and who you probably see embodied throughout this video. But I'm ready and excited to explore different parts of my personality and to try them on in the studio. I've found that the deeper the connection I feel with myself, the more confident I feel in showing up as me in the world and the more that I trust my inner voice to guide me. It's helpful for me to think of the relationship that I have with myself as I would any other relationship. It's important to spend time getting to know each other, sharing intimacy and vulnerability in order to forge a deep bond and cultivate a really deep sense of trust. I often hear people talking about how if we want to manifest our dreams in this lifetime, we have to trust that the universe, God, whoever is on our side. And you know, I've, I've really given that my best shot. <laughs> and where it led me was to realize that 
I have to trust my own inner guidance to lead me to my dreams before I can trust anything outside of myself to meet me there. As always, thank you for being here on this little corner of the internet with me. I hope to connect with you all again soon, and don't forget to subscribe for more.